in the tutorial how to generate a digital cinema package using EasyDCP functionality in DaVinci Resolve 10, we generated an unencrypted DCP. Creating an encrypted DCP is pretty much the same procedure. The only difference is that we have to select the Encrypt option in the Delivery tab before we add the job to the render queue. Once the renderer has finished, we have an encrypted DCP. The keys are automatically added to the Resolve's key store, so the created DCP is immediately playable on this system. However, without a so-called Key Delivery Message, or short KDM, the same DCP won't play back on an external system, be it another installation of Resolve 10, EasyDCP Creator, EasyDCP Player, or a cinema server. In order to generate a KDM for an external machine, we need the public server certificate from that installation. Each installation of EasyDCP that supports encryption has such a certificate, and so does DaVinci Resolve 10 or every digital cinema server. For example, if you want to receive a KDM for your installation, you can export your unique public server certificate by using Menu Entry File, EasyDCP, Export Server Certificate, and send it to another facility in order to enable them to issue a KDM for you. In this example, we use the public server certificate from a cinema playback server, for example, this one from a Doremi playback device. Once we click the right mouse button over the thumb preview of an encrypted DCP, we have a new menu entry called Generate KDM. This entry is only available if the DCP is encrypted. In the KDM dialog, we have to point Resolve to the folder that contains the public server certificate and also restrict the KDM to a time window. Please note that you can store more than one certificate in this folder. Resolve will then automatically issue a KDM for each of them in a single batch job. In this example, we generate a KDM that is valid for one week starting now. We also select an output folder for the KDM and click the Generate button. That's all we have to do. Finally, we can send the KDM to the cinema, so that their server can play back the DCP until the end of the KDM's time window. This option is a perfect match for daily workflows where critical content has to be transferred between facilities. It is for example possible to compile the dailies as an encrypted DCP and to further issue KDMs for example for other instances of DaVinci Resolve 10. The workflow is exactly the same as described above since each installation of EasyDCP that supports decryption has their own individual server certificate and can therefore receive KDMs. <laughs>